What's happening everybody? Speedboat Maniac coming at you guys. Welcome to the daily vlog that I put up once every two months. So look, it's been a while since I've put up a video. Uh, sorry for the delay guys, it's just been a lot going on and try to get resettled in. <laughs> a lot of things have been happening and as you guys already know... You mean the way I talk? Just you know, you, it's you're just funny. It's, it's funny, you know, the way you tell the story and everything. Funny how? I mean, what's funny about it? Yeah, Tommy, no, you got it all wrong. He's... Oh, oh, Anthony. He's a big boy. He knows what he said. What'd you say? You're right. Funny how? Just, what? Just you know, you're, you're funny. <laughs> uh, there's a possibility that you know, um, I'm selling my boat. So. What we're going to do today is, you know, as you guys know from the last video that we had going on, um, I took the boat back over to uh, Lily Sport Boats. They put in these pop-up valves or relief valves off the top of the air strainers. And we'll go out and take a look at that. And I'll show you some different things that I've been doing the past, eh, like, month or so on and off. Um, so I have been busy. Uh, just haven't been focusing so much on putting up these videos and uh, good news is, uh, we got monetized again. So now you guys got to sit through the stupid commercials and the pop-ups. But uh, that's how we're going to make chump change and put some gas money in this old 42 fountain of mine. So let's go out and take a look, see what's going on with the boat, see what kind of upgrades. Nothing big, but just some little things. And we'll take a look. We are going to take the boat out tomorrow for a sea trial, uh, just myself. And we're going to give it a go and see if this port motor is doing any better. So let's take a little look outside and see what's going on with the old 42. So guys, again, not a whole lot going on. Just a couple little updates. But here's the valves that they put off of, I said earlier, the air strainers. I meant the sea strainers. So this would be for the port and or the starboard or vice versa. And basically they just blow off any extra air or water that comes from the pickups that are obviously down here. You guys have seen this before. So this pickup is the port pickup or the forward motor. This pickup is the starboard pickup for the rear motor. This pickup is for the intercooler and it's just what they call you know like a static pressure so any water that comes off of here and goes up in here just works off of what you call static pressure there is no pump that runs these okay it's just a water pressure that comes in and it cools the intercoolers now I've been told different things about that meaning the reason that they do it that way is so that you don't get condensation between the intake and the intercooler when the motor's running at lower temperatures because it can condensate and cause a problem. So they use it as a static. So this is the static blow off here for the intercooler um, cooling system. And that runs both of them. And you can see there's one for this one over here as well. So, but let's go up and take a look at what's going on with the header, the port motor, and why it's not doing what it's supposed to do. Okay, guys, so, so let's start with the problem, like where the problem lies and where it's visible, okay? So as you can already see, this primary tube right here, okay, the front one, is turning gold. These over here are not as bad. It is slightly gold. This one, not so much. This one, not so much. But obviously towards the top of the header... You can see it's it's pretty burnished, okay? Now, this rail right here is the water that is fed from 
the intake manifold, not the intercooler, but the intake manifold from right here. Okay, comes out of here in this A and N fitting, goes down here, 90s in, and then this is all the water pressure that feeds this entire header. Okay, so with that said, that's a situation with why this is getting hot. And then what's happening is out on the water when you're running for more than two or three minutes, eh, you know, at 85 or 90 miles an hour. I know that's not fast, but the engines are spun up pretty high at that point. So this starts to melt and it blows open. Okay. And then that's the problem of why the boat steamed up last time. So we went ahead and put C strainers. Uh, sea strainer relief valves here, Alan did from uh, Lily Sport Boats, with check valves. That's what the little band is right there. They're little check valves. You know, it only lets the water and the air go out that way on both of them. This is the uh, port, the front motor's sea strainer. That's the starboard motor sea strainer. So any extra water or air that's at the top of these, is supposed to blow off and go out and down low. That's why those are down low. They're not like way up high because the lower it is, the more, um, the easier it is supposedly to blow off. Now, according to Alan and, uh, and Art and Britt, when the motors are running and you're up on plane and your pumps are pumping water through, any excess water pressure pre-water pump that it's not being able to grab and use and cool the motor and run out the exhaust will get blown out of those check valves out of the side of the boat over there. So that's the problem right now, and that's the temporary, not temporary, but this is the first remedy that we're taking to go through and, and process of elimination to see if this helps any. Okay, so what are my options in to, to continue if this does you know, continue to happen. Here's what it would be. Relocate the pickups, okay? Because where are the pickups now, um, and again, I always hate, I hate to keep saying, you know, this is what they told me, this is what they told me, but these guys have been racing for 25, 30, 35, 40 years. If you put the pickups too low, okay, the boat can act a little squirrely at higher speeds. And now I'm not saying if it's a quarter inch low or a half inch low, but they would suggest to relocate the pickups and French them into the fiberglass through the bottom of the hull somewhere up closer to maybe this rear step or even in front of the rear step. I don't know how they would do it. So that's what the uh, prognosis is or the next thing that we would do. All right, so even with that said, if you relocate the pickup, okay, before that, people say, well, why don't you put in two-stage pumps? Uh, you know, one for the uh, engine and one for the uh, headers, because you can put them in two-stage pump, three-stage pumps for the intercoolers, all separate. Well, first of all, I don't know if we have room down here in front of all this uh, to put the certain stage pumps. Okay, that's the first thing. Do you have room? Second thing is, is I don't care how many stage pumps you have. If you can't grab the water from back there where the pickups are, it doesn't matter. You need to find a better location for your water pickup so you can grab the actual water so you can pump it. So that's basically what's going on. We're going to give it a try tomorrow. Um, you know, other than that, I just did some things. I cleaned the boat up a little bit. Um, it ain't perfect, but it's good. I took, uh, man, I love the Magic Erasers with a little bit of uh, Simple Green and clean the interior. Uh, sometimes with a little spray nine, and it came out pretty good, I got to say. And then I also cleaned the uh, canvas cover. It had mold growing in the bottom of it, you know, from sitting over the winter. Uh, whenever it's down like this, all the moisture that's in here. So I put it out in the driveway and I scrubbed it with a scrub brush and uh, a nice uh, canvas cleaner. Uh, I used Simple Green as well and uh, sprayed it off. And it took like three hours to clean the whole daggone thing, front and rear. And then I hung it on the clothesline. It was like I was, I was Cinderella on my hands and knees out there in the driveway for a few hours but it came out pretty good. So uh, that's pretty much it. We're going to take the boat out for a test drive tomorrow and sea trial. We'll see what's happening. This whole port motor over here is going to act right. So if you like this video, guys, I appreciate you coming, and I appreciate your patience. You know, waiting a whole two months. What's going on with him? What's going on? You know... It's just hard to get it together sometimes. So... 
you like this video, give it a big old thumbs up. And subscribe if you haven't already. And comment and share the video with a friend. I appreciate you guys coming along. And as always, God bless.